everyone welcome back to my channel i need to put on those glasses to be sure it's recording because i've got a very bad eyesight so i get inspired a lot going through uh pinterest like checking recipes just going through pinterest generally if you know what pinterest is all about you know when you think about a particular thing and you're not able to get what you've thought about similar things will come to your feed if you understand what i mean so i have been inspired a lot going through pinterest and i've seen styles styling clips styling video clips of um people that love fashion and I have been inspired a lot so I decided to like in my head what what actually happens is that each time I pop into a style that I love I get inspired immediately I start calculating is this something that I can pull off does this look like what I have in my closet? Will I be able to like pick one or two things and combine to recreate or get something that looks like what I'm saying? So I got inspired and I decided to create some outfits from Pinterest. Let's get into it. In no particular order, I have my phone right here. So I've already styled I've already styled, um, I've already done the styling and I'm going to be pulling them out and hopefully they're going to come here. If I'm able to put the one I saw on Pinterest on the side, I'll do that and uh, I'll put what I've styled here just to see a comparison and see if I nailed it or not. This picture of hers I bumped into, she has uh, a motor jacket. Um, a pink t-shirt and a pink pant the pants uh, she has a black bag as well so her pants the pants she's putting on is it looks like a barrel pant something a little yeah it looks like the shape actually looks like a barrel pant let's see how I styled mine so I couldn't see the type of shoes she was wearing so mine mine was a high-waisted I styled a high-waisted pink pant and a crop pink a hot pink crop top it's a turtleneck because why not it's actually um, fall here this particular day it was actually cold and I filmed from my basement my basement is always cold so I decided to go for a turtleneck hot pink and a lighter shade shade of pink pants high waisted with um, wide leg um, this came out I love this look I love this look I, I was just thinking why have I not styled this this way all along I've had this pants why have I not styled this this way? All along I've had this pant for more than a year right now. What I like about this pant is that you can wear it all for season and it will work for you. So um, I styled it the way I styled it and with this Bottega dupe. Is it Bottega? It should be Bottega dupe eardrop teardrop not eardrop teardrop earring and i decided to yeah the i decided to put uh put on uh, a very nice a very nice boot that i got from zara this boot if you see this boot you think is one of those balenciaga boots one high-end designer but that's not i got it from zara and for the jacket, I got a black jacket as well. I got this jacket from H&M and the jacket, 
did justice to this look i love it it's something that i really really love you cannot tell me that this is not nice like i'm rocking it as a matter of fact i think i'll be going to church dressed like this this coming sunday so let's get into the next one i want to know if i nail this or not in the comment section what i'll be doing is that i'll be linking these are old items from my closet i'll be linking similar items if you're interested i'm going to search and link similar items in the description box so that you guys if you want to shop for similar look you can go for it it might not be exactly but it will be close to so the second look is uh an ankara skirt like i tell whenever i upload a video i tell my viewers that ankara and me is like five and six if you're not nigerian you will not understand this five and six thing that I'm talking about like Ankara I cannot do without an Ankara I think as a matter of fact the previous uh, styling I I'm, I was supposed to style like I was supposed to I don't think I think I actually styled it with an Ankara post that is how much I like an Ankara do you know what I do if I have an outfit and I think I don't really have a bag that will go with it. I check to see if that's Ankara purse we go with it. And the Ankara purse actually went very well with the with the pink outfit that I styled. So the second one is an Ankara skirt. Like I saw this woman and I love the way she styled this Ankara pleated skirt with a blue shirt and the way she rolled the um the way she put her cardigan is it sweater or cardigan on her neck and it came out very well it's really really beautiful so when i bumped into this picture on pinterest i was like oh my god i have a similar one not the same shade but the same print the same ankara print i have it i hope my hair is okay because there was a time i filmed filmed the video this was standing like a raccoon hair. <laughs> this is why I hope this is okay. Anyway, I digressed, so let's go back. So the Ankara, Ankara print is very beautiful. This the lady has a beautiful bag on a sandals. I think this should be towards the end. She must have styled this towards the end of summer, early fall. That's why she has a cardigan sweater sweatshirt so this is how i styled mine the same print similar print but in a different color my skirt is um it has yellow and red in it so i decided to i don't i don't i don't think i have any other shirt that would have suited this more i decided to go for my pink shirt and I think I did justice to this. It came out very beautiful. I love it. As a matter of fact, I should be going out with this very soon. So uh, the, the lady wore a flat sanders. So I decided to go for its fall. I decided to put on a pantyhose and a flat ballerina shoes from zara this baller these ballerina shoes are really really good they i think they look like there's a particular shoe i saw on farfetch uh valentina ballerina shoes this should i say this is a replica i'll pop that one somewhere so you guys can see just the shoe to compare to what I should be able to put so I decided to put on a pantyhose because it's fall and a ballerina flat and it came out lovely this look is giving me um, rich anti vibe like rich anti vibe so I decided to put on my pink sweater 
and it came out looking really good like a candy or <laughs> like a gum ready to be chewed so for the bag I decided to put on for the bag and only my one and only uh, half moon Gucci purse and I for the sunglasses too I wore my Gucci sunglasses and this look is really really good so let's get into the next styling so like I said I'm tr I, like I said this video is all about recreating what I saw on Pinterest and getting not the exact thing that I saw on Pinterest but something that looks so close to what I saw on Pinterest and recreating the look so this particular one this lady wore a very pretty turtleneck high earned turtleneck from Balenciaga yeah I'm zooming I just zoom from Balenciaga and she wore a two-tone denim pant with a silver colored sandals with socks let's see how i recreated this look creating this look i have a red turtle neck top however it's not balenciaga it's from french connection if you like this top you can get it in um marshall's winners if you're in canada marshall's or winners if you're in america i think ross and marshall's right so it's french connection one thing about this particular turtleneck you see it all the time in marshall's or winners you can never go wrong if you purchase this item it's very very beautiful like the texture you get value for your money like i get this in different colors all the time if i feel my previous ones are wearing out i get another one so i decided to style mine with my french connection turtleneck top that i got from marshall's and with a denim from h m this denim is very beautiful but it's not two-tone denim but it's the shade is close to the other part of the j uh, the shade is close to the other part of the denim and it's quite beautiful so i decided to style it with my silver the silver sandals is not comfortable at all i got it from uh, dsw like six five six years ago it's still pretty and i wore my bottega dupe earrings from amazon and the way i style this i i don't have that um gray socks but i decided to put on a light socks for this outfit because it's not that dark need easy grayish looking in color but it worked for me bag i don't think i have any bag close to what she was carrying but she was carrying a big bag so i decided to go for my um valentino tote bag that i got from marsha yeah i got it from marshall's marshall's canada so if you're if you want to buy designer stuff for a fraction of the price like discounted marshall's once in a while if you have the money and you want to like buy once in a while when you go to marshall's just go through their stuff and you might be surprised what you'll find i got this bag in marshall's and i did not regret like when i saw the bag i 
there were other there were like two other ladies just standing by waiting because they had like two different uh valentino bags i was just waiting i said i don't want the flower the one with the uh, floral designs but i want this plain one because i know it wasn't going to select so i waited for those ladies and they moved away immediately they moved away i got the uh, the shop assistant because for high earned items like this they lock them so the guy was like this is a very good purchase are you sure you want it i said yeah i'm sure but i'm not i'm not too sure of how sure i am to get it he was so he was like if you have to put it in percentage how sure are you i was like maybe like 80 percent i said if you're really sure you should be up to like 99.9 .9 sure of it or you're not sure you want to get this eventually i got it and i never regretted buying this bag because the bag is a really good one so i i i went for my yeah i went for my valentino valentino tote and for the sunglasses i decided to put on my one and only Mew Mew sunglasses. I've had these sunglasses for like six, seven years. Like I have two of this that my husband bought for me. It's very beautiful. I, I think it's really good. Really, really good. Let's go to the final one for the final one. Okay. So this, the final look is actually denim on denim. Uh... This shirt is something else. Like if I, if I'm able to bump into this shirt that this lady is wearing, I'll grab it. Hopefully, I'm able to pay for the cost of it. Like this, I love the way this lady styled a white shirt and a denim. Oh my Tony, <laughs> a white shirt and a denim. Like the white shirt has this tie neck color, which is very beautiful. And she used a, a waistcoat, a, a waistcoat vest to style hers. Let's see how I style mine. The way I styled mine, I got my ripped denim from Zara and my tie neck white button down shirt from H&M. And for the second denim, I decided to put on the white uh, for the second denim I decided to put on my denim shirt because I don't have the I do have okay I do have a denim like a denim vest but it's asymmetric that would have been a killer for this but I didn't think about it I decided to put a denim shirt on my my tiny white button down shirt and this is what it looks like this is a fall look. This is a fall look. And for the bag, I carried my half moon Gucci bag and my Gucci sunglasses. And I think it came out really well. Anyway, we've come to the end of today's video. What do you think about the styling video? Would you want to see more of me styling clothes from? Pinterest let me know in the comment section as a matter of fact I think I still have other styles that I bumped into that I'm going to be doing in my next video what do you think let me know in the comment section and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button and also there's a bell notification sign that you can tap on that way you get notified whenever I upload a new video please support my channel and I will see you in my next one bye bye